Hi, this is John Lommers, the creator of Epic Table. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the data location of your Epic Table game data. Normally, you don't have to worry about this, but there are times when you want to take control over where the data is stored. For instance, if you are prepping on one computer and playing on another, or if you have a new computer and you want to move things, this can be useful. Um, you could store your data on a USB drive, for instance, or I like to put mine on Dropbox so that my Epic Table game data is available to all the machines that I use. So here we go. Um, on the start screen here, we're just going to go down to this little gear icon. There's a grand total of one pregame setting at this point in Epic Table, and that's the data folder. Right now, you can see it's just at the default location, but we'll change that. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put it in my Dropbox and I'll create a new folder for it and call this Epic Table Data and Dropbox takes a little time to make that name change. All right and uh, then what it's going to do is ask me if I want to copy my existing data so um, at this point I could start fresh and have a, a brand new data directory with nothing in it or um, because I have games already I have the option to copy my existing games over and I want to do that so I say copy data and I have a lot of games because <laughs> I've been developing Epic Table for a long time. So I've got a fair amount of stuff out there. So you can see it's copying everything over to the new Dropbox location. And we'll let this finish. Maybe even take some of this out in editing for you. Okay. Um, now, notice if I pop this open again, we see my new data location and then I'll pull up the Dropbox folder and just show you this Epic Table Data, so I've got all my new stuff out here um, and uh, that's all there is to it. From now on I've got all of my data available to all of my computers and it's as easy as that. Thanks.